Hello there, welcome back to Logical Link. Today we are going to look at the Linguistics Olympia question on Amharic, the official language of Ethiopia. So without further ado, let's delve into it. Now we have this table. In the second column, we are given with the words or phrases written Amharic. They are called GS scripts. Our job now is to match those scripts with their enrollment transcriptions put in random order below the table. There are distinctions between the capital letters and the small ones in the transcriptions. The capital letters, including big G, big T, big K and big C, represent special pronunciations in Amharic. For convenience purpose, in this video I'll be using the same pronunciation for both the big letter and the small letter, but I will be mindful to note which one I'm referring to. The scripts, well, they do look daunting. Where do we even start? Don't panic. Like always, we can start by comparing the two languages and spot their similarities. After observing the scripts and the list of Roman transcriptions, I found a pattern. The transcriptions either have two or three syllables. This tells me that each syllable only corresponds to one script. I also noticed that in H row of the table, there are two re repetitive scripts, and in the transcription, the word Coco Q with big K and big C also have two repetitive syllables. Therefore, we have our first answer. H is Coco Q with big K and big C. Now, if we look at the E row in the table, we can see the same club-like script with seeing H as highlighted in red. The only other transcription starting with KO with a big K is Koki, both Ks being big ones. We can also see here that the two scripts in E row actually resemble a lot. The only difference is the positions of the little circles, and the transcriptions differ only in their vowels. In this case, these two scripts are similar in structure and at the same time they share the same consonant. We can then make a guess that when two scripts look alike, they probably have similar pronunciation as well, like having the same consonant. With that being said, we can see that the last script, representing CU with big C, actually looks alike the scripts in C row, highlighted in green. I would then look at the last script of each of the transcriptions. Are there any other two transcriptions with their last syllable starting with the consonant big C? Nope. Are there any other two with the vowel in their last syllable being U? Yes, there are. There are Betru and Tachu as highlighted in the green. But how do we know which is which? To answer this question, the only way is through a bit of trial and error. Look at the scripts highlighted in blue. They are quite similar. The only difference is their tails. From experience, this resemblance tells us that these two either share a consonant or a vowel. Wait, did we see something like this before? The change in the position of the little circles? Yes. The two scripts in E row differ only in the position of the circles, and the circle in the bottom right gives the script a vowel E. So it's reasonable to assume that the script highlighted in dark blue in G also has a vowel E. Okay, we now have two conditions. One, these two highlighted in blue share the same consonant, and two, the one in G row has the letter E as its vowel. Which transcriptions satisfy these two conditions? Let's look at those ending with vowel E first. So there are TE with big T, KE, PE, and KE with big K. We can eliminate KE with big K already because we have used it already. Look at the rest of them. Only TE with a capital T shares the consonant with another syllable, that is, 
T A with capital T in touch. Therefore, we get our answers. G is got A, I is touch, and C then must be betchu. Our guess is also valid that the small circle on the bottom right denotes the vowel E. We can always double check. You see, the first script has a little circle, and it denotes B E. In E, the script with a little circle denotes big K E, and the same pattern is seen in G too. We can use this pattern to solve for B and J. In B, the first syllable has a circle, and the only syllable in the list that is both the first syllable and the one with vowel E. Is geta with a big G. Thus, we found the answer for B. However, it seems like we can't find the answer for J just yet. There are two transcriptions left in the list, and they both have E as their vowels. They are koki and zippy. You can actually tell from J that the two scripts probably do not share the consonant or vowel, since they do not resemble each other. But I decided to leave it until I have a clearer clue. So in the table, what I have left is A, D, and F. I decided to start from F because it's the only one with three syllables, which makes the answer self-evident to be piano. From here, I notice the first script for P I is actually similar to the second syllable in J. They differ only by a circle. Now I can say with confidence that J is zippy. It might be a too late to do it now, but to make the list seem more organized, I have crossed out what we have used already. We now only have koki and laba. Remember, we have seen the consonant b before in betchu, which is zero in the table. It looks just like the second script in D. Therefore, D must be laba, and A must be koki. Although there's no circle for the vowel e. And now we have a full answers. How did you go? Feel free to leave a comment if you find anything confusing. Thank you for watching, and we're looking forward to seeing you very very soon.